A mushrooming meth for sex scandal. You're looking at undercover video of a sting operation in which uh, a former sheriff of the year, a man who served the very same county in which all this is happening. As sheriff for 18 years, there he is in the t-shirt being cuffed. He's got the gray hair. He's on a bed. He was watching gay male porn with uh, the undercover informant who set up the sting. And that other person whose face is blurred says he has done math with the former sheriff many, many, many times in return for sex. Now, unbelievable. And even though Pat Sullivan's arrest came a full decade after he retired as sheriff, you got to wonder, I think the big question, was Patrick Sullivan ever high on meth back when he was the sheriff of this county? In the case of a judge in Tennessee, investigators told local affiliate WATE that the judge was so addicted to prescription drugs that he was allegedly having sex and buying pills during courtroom breaks. Former criminal court judge Richard Baumgartner spoke out at his sentencing. I have a disease, and it is a serious disease. I do not offer that as an excuse. I take uh, absolute and full responsibility for my conduct. The 64-year-old Baumgartner resigned to seek drug treatment, got a slap on the wrist, and pleaded guilty to official misconduct. But the end result was that many of his convictions were overturned because of his uh, scandalous actions. So my question to Deborah Opry, criminal defense attorney, could this scandal with ex-Sheriff Sullivan force the re-examination of all the convictions based on arrests made on his watch? Yes, absolutely. Under habeas corpus, you'll have far-reaching consequences if the various cases, over a thousand in his courtroom alone, because uh, there are only three sitting judges for the felony cases, for the criminal cases. Uh, this is far-reaching, Jane, because if you look at his conduct, and this is, again, the dirty little secrets of the people who sit with power and control and the trust of the community, tell me, tell me, where does it end when they start unraveling these judges' lives? If you look at this one judge, how many more across our country and what kind of trust will be shaken by the people, including attorneys, of our judicial system? It's troubling. Bruce McCain, back to you John. Could... Deborah, Opry. Well, I I'm telling you, you have to go back to the sentencing guidelines of the amount of the drugs in the possession. As far as I was laughing about your late 60s comment, I'm married to somebody who's 65, and I can tell you point blank, uh, everybody has demons, but maybe they've been around so long they didn't think they were getting caught. Good, good for me, I've got a good husband. All I can tell you is uh, I don't think there's a leniency standard here. I think that these people in their late 60s got lazy over the years, and they just started taking it for granted that they were getting away with it. As far as and that I, I, uh, sheriff in Colorado. Go let ahead. me go back to John.